Hi honeybees, today I'm gonna be showing what I got at the friends and family, I was gonna say VIB, but the friends and family 20% off discount with Sephora. Also the VIB sale is coming up, which is also 20% off at Sephora. That's gonna be the first week in November. So if you don't have a 20% off coupon code, which at this point it's already expired, I believe, but don't worry if you didn't get your hands on one because in a week or two here, you're going to also be receiving one if you're VIB or VIB Rouge. And so this will get your ideas flowing on what you maybe should get. Please excuse my hair. I wasn't planning on filming, but since I did a little more damage than I thought I was going to do, some of them are gifts though for Christmas. Um, so I figured might as well do a haul. <laughs> that wasn't as graceful as I wanted it to be. Okay, anyways, let's start. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a few items that I did not purchase recently, but that I really suggest you pick up during the VIB sale while you have 20% off. So I did get two samples. I can't find the other one, but I have two samples of the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I got them in 110 and 140. Um, 130 is super yellow, and they didn't have the 120 tester. I really think I'm 120. But I'm gonna try them out. I actually have 140 on my neck right here and I think it's too dark. And then I have 110 on this side and it looks pretty dang good. So I'm hopeful for this foundation. My friend Donna went with me to the event, to the friends and family event, and she picked up the foundation and it looked so good on her, so I'm really hopeful. I did pick up a 100 point perk and I got two of them because I love this and I'm going to be traveling quite a bit and this month I'm going to Houston and next month in November I'm going back to California to visit my best friend and to go to Disney again. So this is the triple sec 3 in 1 from Dry Bar. Um, I think they also have the actual dry shampoo as well. The triple sec is my favorite because it gives texture. It um, also takes the oils out of the hair so it really refreshes your hair. And I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it every third day. So stuff like this is, comes in really handy. These are on sale right now on Sephora.com and in Sephora. I've never tried them but they were only $4 plus 20% off on top of that. So it was worth a try. This is the Micellar Cleansing Milk in the relaxing and soothing coconut one. There are a bunch of different ones of this. It's pretty small, it's 3.38 fluid ounces, but I'm really hopeful for this. I'm gonna try it out tonight or in the next couple days and then hopefully it'll still be around for the VIB sale so I can pick up more if I really like it. Something that I always make sure to replenish during the VIB sale so I can get 20% off, or friends and family in this case, is the Shiseido Facial Cotton. This is the softest cotton you will ever use on your face. I love it for my eye makeup removal, so I always make sure to repurchase that. I also ended up picking up the Daily Brush Cleanser, and I got the big bad boy size this time. I love this stuff for cleaning my brushes off. Also removing swatches on my hands. This breaks it down so fast and easy. So I don't always just use it for my brushes, I use it for multiple purposes and I love it. It's really inexpensive because it is a Sephora brand plus 20% off. These two next things I was totally enabled by my friend Janelle who works at Sephora. I asked, I did, I mean to be fair, I did ask her what I should be maybe having my eye on and I didn't even know that Kat Von D had a lip liner set for holiday. And I love the Kat Von D lip liners. They're super creamy, they last really well on the lips and I love their colors. So this is a set that has Lolita, Hawkwind, and Homegirl. Homegirl is like this darker, vampier color. So here is the set. And right now, um, the other one I have is the OG Lolita shade. So I'm really excited to use those. I love those. And it wasn't too bad. I think these are... I'll leave it linked down below because I can't remember the exact price. I'll leave everything linked down below for you guys. Super easy access. This was on sale, you guys. This is the Tartiste or Tartist. I think it's Tartist. Pro Glow Palette. And this has three... Is it three or four highlights and then bronzers? I'm actually going to be saving this for my holiday giveaway for you guys because I have plenty of highlight bronzer palettes. I don't actually own this myself, but it's so beautiful. It opens. I don't want to touch anything, so I won't be swatching this. I'm sorry, um, but I am going to open this so you guys can see. 
So there's a cream bronzer right here, and then a sculpting powder right here, and then four highlights that are different shades, and then you have the two mirrors on the sides. This is $23 on sale right now at Sephora, plus I got 20% off of that. So it was a really, really good deal, and this is a beautiful palette. I have heard really good things about it. So this will be in my upcoming holiday giveaway. I'm so excited. I just started getting a few products here and there for you guys. The last few things I have are all lip products. <laughs> you know I didn't need three more lip products for myself, but I did it. I also got this as a gift for someone, I'm not gonna say who, but I definitely still wanted to mention it for you guys because this is such a cute gift idea or just for yourself if you wanna try a bunch of awesome high-end nude lipsticks. This is the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lip, but they also have one that is a bold lip that has some really beautiful colors too. So it has the Bite Beauty Multi-Stick in Brioche. It has the Buxom, Full on lip cream in Dolly, the Ciate London Liquid Velvet Moisturizing Matte Liquid Lipstick in Bittersweet, Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Ludwig, Makeup Forever Rouge number C211, and Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash Lipstick in Rum Punch, which is one of my favorite, favorite shades. So I don't think you get any full size in this one. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure these are all sample sizes this time. Sometimes in these nude lip kits, you'll get at least one full size, but it looks like these are all um, sample sizes, but you get quite a few, and it's $28 retail, plus obviously I got the 20% off, but I'll leave the bold lip kit down below as well for you guys if you're curious about that one, because I did not pick that up. Okay, this one I have, I think Kristen Game is the one that mentioned this on her channel. I have the rose gold looking one. This is the Smashbox Be Legendary Liquid Metal Lip. And this is in Mauve Squad. And I'm pretty sure Kristen Game's the one that was wearing this and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. It's so beautiful. I've had it on my loves list in Sephora for a very long time now since these came out. But then since I had 20% off, I decided to pick it up and there was only one left in the store. So I felt like it was fate, but look at how beautiful that color is for fall. And I love how these feel on the lips. I don't think they have a smell to them, but they feel so good and they have that like really beautiful metallic sheen to them. The one I have on right now is Bite Beauty, but let's go ahead and apply some of this. Okay, I just blotted some of the lipstick I have on right now off. Let's just... Oh, wow. This is so pretty. And these are super saturated. Um, so you can, you know, apply them over the top of something like I am right now. Or you can wear them on their own. And they feel so comfortable. They're not super sticky. Um, and I really like the applicator is kind of curved in like a scoop. So it hugs the lips really nicely. I love this. So again, this is Mob Squad. So pretty. Okay, the next lipstick I got, both of these actually are limited edition for the holidays. So the first one is from Marc Jacobs. Even the outside packaging is gorgeous with the gold and leopard print on the front. Um, this is called number 270 Perfect. Like purr, purr, like a kitty purring. Perfect. And oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. It's leopard prints. And then there is also a limited edition NARS that's in gold packaging from the Audacious line. I swatched that as well. It was a bit darker of a nude. And I kind of have, I think I have an Audacious lipstick that's very similar. So that's why I didn't get it. Um, I just fell in love with this packaging. And it was the last one, once again. And I love this formulation. So nice. I mean, they don't really have that much of a smell. Look at that beautiful nude. Not saying that I don't have something exactly like this nude, but I love this formula, and I know I will wear this and this packaging is to die. Last but not least, I have the Too Faced Melted Matte Limited Edition Gingerbread Scented Lipstick. And I debated about this for a while, but then it sold out on Sephora.com, and I was like, oh no, I cannot miss out on this. <laughs> so I decided to get it. I have not. This is going to be my first impressions. It has little gingerbread men all over the cap, you guys. So stinking cute. 
and supposedly it smells like gingerbread, so let's see. I mean, it smells really, really good, like a cookie, but I don't know if it's, oh my gosh. I can get, I can see the gingerbreadness to it. I don't know about this color on me. I'm really nervous, but the, the girls that were working there said that it's really pretty on a lot of people. So here's the color right here. It definitely is like a warm, orangey brown kind of color as you can see from the tube here. I love this formula though and I um, have the one from last year that was candy cane scented and I'm obsessed with that one I wore it at Disney recently and so I figured I'll try it out if I hate it on me then I'll return it but there's the color right there. So that's all that I purchased recently but I want to share a few things that I recommend to you that I personally haven't purchased recently but I want to share with you. So first is the Hourglass Holiday Palette. Yes, I still have it in the packaging because I love the rose gold packaging. So this is called the Lighting Edit Volume 3. I have a full review and kind of like a, a try on, like a, what's it called? Like applying it to my skin plus reviewing it for you guys. I'll link that down below as well. But if you have been thinking about this, don't don't wait because this is definitely going to sell out during the holidays. It has diffused light, which is my favorite highlighting for under my eyes. I have that on today. And then it has two different more highlights, a bronzer and two blushes. There are, I believe, two or three limited like edition or new colors in this palette. I have all the info in that review, so that you're better off going to see that if you want more info on this. But this is amazing to get 20% off on for sure. Next thing I highly suggest is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Now this palette is quite pricey, so it's awesome to get 20% off this palette. And I have been giving so much love to this palette all summer long. It's amazing if you like warm shadows. Now I know that the Lolita, is that... Is it Lolita? I'm pretty sure. The new purpley palette just came out as well. So if you're more into cooler tones and purples, you might want to go for that one. I'll leave it linked with this one as well. But these shadows are so pigmented. They blend like a dream. They are the butteriest, most beautiful shadows I've used. And you guys know I've used a lot. I've used a lot of different shadows in my life, and these definitely are in the top category for me. And I love these colors, they're just perfection. You will continue to see me wearing this throughout the fall and winter even. These are not, it's not just colors for summer, they're beautiful. And then the last thing I wanna share with you guys and definitely suggest are the new Becca Holiday products. Um, the first is the face palette. Look at this packaging, isn't that stunning? Looks like icicles or like frost. So beautiful. So I have both the face and the new eye palettes and they were, these were sent to me. Um, so I did not purchase these but I still wanted to showcase them for you. So this is the face one. And you get um, four highlights, a blush and a bronzer. And this shade right here is a brand new highlight to their collection. It's called Icicle, right? Icicle, yeah. Icicle, and then you also get rose quartz, blushed copper, and opal are the th three other highlights, and then winterberry is the blush, and bronzed bondi or bondi for the bronzer. So there's that, and then for the eyeshadow palette, these are so pretty, you guys. I just wore them for the first time yesterday, and it's like putting their creamy highlights on your eyelids, and they're just so beautiful. Um, so you have pearl in the middle, which is like that really white, like icicle looking one. And then you have rose quartz. No, this is hot cocoa. Hot cocoa, rose quartz, moonstone, opal, topaz, and toasted marshmallow are the color names. And it's just a beautiful neutral palette. Uh, I'll swatch them for you and do close-ups. So that is it for my Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my suggestions and what I picked up at Friends and Family. If you're wondering about this sweater, I will leave it linked down below. It's so soft and cozy. I love it. It's not necessarily sweater weather here in Arizona, but I'm pretending like it is, so just go with it. Please like this video if you enjoyed seeing the haul. Subscribe if you're new and hit that bell icon to make sure you're getting notified for new videos. And I will see you guys again real soon. Bye.